Hi, this is Edwin from GetNotes. Uh, in this video, we are going to create Spanish style pattern for our roof here. When we use a rapid roof, uh, we don't have the patterns defined for our roof yet. So we are going to use pattern from AutoCAD, from AutoCAD heads file, and we are going to apply that to our surface here so first thing that we need to do is to create the pattern itself so we can go here to the manage tab uh, additional settings then we can open the fill patterns Revit has two type of patterns the first one is drafting drafting pattern drafting pattern is for annotations so uh, when we uh, create a sections uh, it will shows the uh, brickwork or concrete uh, pattern showing the materials but it's not part of the uh, actual model itself so if we want to create uh, the actual pattern for in our model we use the model uh, pattern so we can create this one here and I'm going to select the custom because for basic we only have two options we have parallel lines and crossheads we need a more complex one from custom so we can import from AutoCAD pattern file okay, here I can open this uh, file okay uh, now we can see the preview of our pattern here and uh, it will take the uh, name automatically from the uh, pattern file so this pattern file uh, is uh, Refit pad file, but you need to add a parameter in this file. This is the pattern file that I use. You need to add this uh, parameter to uh, let Refit acknowledge that this one is a model pattern. So if you create your own pattern or you download it somewhere in the internet and you need to add this one, so you can use it in Refit. Okay, now uh, for the import scale, I'm going to use 2.54 because uh, my uh, measurement unit is in millimeters. But if you are using inches, then you need uh, you don't need to change this and, and let let it uh, one. Okay, I'm going to click OK. Okay, now uh, we already have the pattern defined. Next step is to define the material okay i'm going to create a new material okay in the identity tab i will rename this one to spanish style roof and i go back to graphics tab in the surface pattern foreground subcategory i'm going to select the model pattern the spanish style roof it, this one is uh, the one that we created earlier so i click ok and i click ok uh, let me change this to a darker color ok and then click ok ok the last one is to define the roof itself ok i'm going to uh, create a uh, duplicate uh, another type this one is Let's call it a Spanish style roof. Then I can define the structure. Okay, let's say I add another finish and define the material as the Spanish style roof. The thickness I will use 20. Okay. Okay. Now we can see that uh, the pattern is already shown in our model and you can notice also that the direction is following the roof slope so we don't need to do anything else it's already defined like this okay thank you for watching please click like and follow the channel if you find it useful see you in the next video